2013. Interior and exterior finish. Interior drywall. Currently, all building codes in North America require foam plastics to be separated from the interior living spaces, any habitable spaces, and some crawl spaces by a thermal barrier, fire protection, that will remain in place for 15 minutes based on specific testing criteria. The most common type of interior finish material that will meet the thermal barrier requirements as stipulated by the building codes is a half-inch gypsum board, also known as drywall. The Anvic ICF polypropylene webs provide a horizontal and vertical furring strip to which the drywall can be directly attached. The spacing and size of the screws should follow the local building code requirements. Drywall sheets can be installed vertically or horizontally. For the purpose of meeting the building code requirements regarding drywall installation, AMVIC has conducted the following tests which are available upon request. Drywall type S fine thread and type W coarse thread screw pull out and shear in accordance with ICBOES AC116 in conjunction with ASTM D1761. Room fire test standard in accordance with UBC-1997 standard 26-3 for protection of interior foam plastics using half-inch gypsum board. Fire test in accordance with CAN-ULC S101-04 and ASTM E119-00A, standard test methods for fire tests of building construction and materials using half-inch gypsum board. Traditional stucco, exterior. Stucco is a cement-based wall cladding system that can be used as an exterior or interior finish. Traditionally, stucco is applied over wood stud with sheathing, cast-in-place concrete, or masonry substrates. Modern stucco applications have advanced and adapted to other substrate materials, including Ambic ICF. Stucco cladding for insulating concrete forms is mainly composed of metal wire lathe, a base coat, and a finish coat. The metal wire lathe is attached to the Anvic propylene webs using approved drywall fine thread or coarse thread screws. Currently, there are two main types of stucco used in North America. Three coat stucco. The stucco base itself is applied in two coats and followed by a third coat. Each of the two base coats is typically three eighths of an inch thick, resulting in a finished stucco base of three quarters of an inch. The first base coat is known as scratch coat. This coat keys into the metal wire lathe, covering it completely. Horizontal and vertical grooves are introduced in this coat as it cures. The grooves will provide a good gripping surface for the coat to follow. The second base coat is known as the brown coat. It is keyed into the grooves in the scratch coat and is often smoothed in preparation for the final coat. One coat stucco. The stucco base is applied in a single coat or 3 8 to 5 8 of an inch thick. A finished coat is then applied. When applying stucco cladding, always follow the manufacturer's installation and or technical instructions. Check manufacturer details for sealing windows and doors to ensure moisture and seepage control. Check local building codes having jurisdiction for the following. Use of weather resistive barrier before applying wire metal lathe and compliance with any other specific requirements related to stucco applications. Stucco finish coats can have a variety of textures and colors and generally produce a pleasing look. EIFS Exterior Insulation and Finish System EIFS, also known as synthetic stucco, is a multi-component exterior finish for walls. The system has traditionally been installed over wood frame substrates with appropriate sheathing. Some EIFS manufacturers have changed the name of their products to distinguish it for ICF application. For example, DryVit EIFS products for ICF has changed to TAF's Textured Acrylic Finishing System. The typical EIFS cladding system consists of foam insulation layer, a polymer base coat, fiber mesh reinforcing layer embedded in the polymer base and an acrylic textured finished coat. The EPS that makes up the Anvic ICF panels is a suitable substrate for applying EIFS cladding directly without the need for an additional foam board. When applying EIFS cladding, always follow the manufacturer installation instructions and inspection guidelines for proper installation. Check manufacturer details for sealing window and doors to ensure moisture seepage control. Check local building codes and ensure compliance with any requirements regarding EIFS applications. EIFS wall claddings, like stucco, have many textures and colors that can be applied to the finished acrylic coat to produce the desired architectural effect. Anchored Masonry Veneer Masonry or brick veneer can be applied to Anvic ICF wall in the same manner as regular wood frame or steel stud construction. A ledge support is required to carry the masonry veneer gravity loads. Please refer to part 9.5 of our manual. The masonry veneer ties shall be screwed directly to the Anvic polypropylene webs 
using approved fine thread or coarse thread screws. The horizontal and vertical spacing of the masonry veneer ties shall comply with engineering and or local building requirements. Anvic has retained a consulting engineering firm to prepare an engineering analysis report on masonry veneer ties under different wind and seismic load conditions. A copy of the report is available upon request and can also be downloaded from our website. Follow the standard building code requirements for weep holes, flashing with dripping edge, and proper material specifications for anchored masonry veneer ties. Wood, vinyl, and fiber cement siding. Amvic ICF can also be finished with exterior side planks such as wood, vinyl, and fiber cement. For wood and fiber cement siding products, wood or metal strapping will have to be installed on the Anvic EPS surface by screwing directly to the block propylene webs. The wood or fiber cement siding can then be installed over the strapping using approved nails or screws. Vinyl siding in most cases can be installed by directly screwing into the Anvic ICF propylene webs with no furring straps. Always follow installation instructions given by the siding manufacturer for ICF applications. Check local building code requirements for use of weather-resisted barrier before installing wood, vinyl, or fiber cement sidings over Anvic ICF.